Okay, we have a fully working double dragon in a Sinistar cabinet. You can still see the Sinistar artwork kind of peeking out underneath that black paint, which could easily be removed with some um, paint remover. There's that citrus stuff. I can't remember what it's called, but it takes paint off pretty easily. And there's also, I use the stuff from Franmar. So if you want to take this back to a Sinistar, feel free. Um, but it is a fully working double dragon and not horrible shape. For some reason, I, I bought a bunch of games from somebody that mounted two by fours underneath them just to make them easier to move. So this one has two by fours mounted to the bottom of the cabinet, but those could be removed. They're just bolted on. Um, monitor has an amazing picture and not really much burn either. So you got a really good monitor there. It's a Wells 4900. Um, these controls could use, um, could use the controls could use replaced. I mean, these are old joysticks. I don't know what you're supposed to do to get away from that guy. I think this joystick probably needs replaced. It's just so loose. But, you know, joysticks are $6, so new, so no big deal. It's got a great sound from that speaker. It must be a 6x9. Okay. Um, so, yeah, this thing's in great shape. Um, well, I mean, it's not great shape, but it's good shape. Let me turn it so you can see in the back. It's still got the original back doors with the original lock. There is the Wells 4900. I have not cap kitted it. As you can see, it's filthy. It's probably a virgin. But it's got a great picture, so. Oh, and it has an original board that is not a bootleg. It's running off of the William Sinistar power supply. Can you believe it? Now, if that power supply ever goes bad, just throw a switcher in it. You can get one for 20 bucks new. Um, but, hey, it's still running on the original Williams. Why not? Uh, oh, yeah, and, you know, Double Dragon is a game that they made a ton of bootlegs for. But this is an original Tato board. So that alone is worth uh, several hundred, in my opinion. Um, in fact, I debated keeping this just because I wanted that board. Um, but that's all right. I got enough stuff. I debated taking this back to Sinistar myself and, and keeping the Double Dragon board. I think I've, I've probably got all the parts needed to deconvert this, but I'm getting old. I got enough projects. It's This is in really decent shape, though. Um, you know, it'd be nice to take this. It's got a plexi protector here. Really, this should be taken off, and then you can clean under it, replace your buttons, put it back on, then, then it would look really good. Oh, this is interesting. They put the instructions upside down here. I, that I don't get. Um, I, I can't can't think of any reason why you would mount the instructions upside down. And it's not that the bezel's in upside down because it doesn't, if you put it in the other way, then it blocks part of the picture. So who knows? Maybe their thinking is, hey, if we mount these upside down, people will actually look at them um, because it's more of a challenge to read it. Whereas if you put it right side up, everyone will just ignore it. I don't know. But here you go. It's pretty decent, pretty decent shaped cabinet, really. So...